Jerbo. Hmm, interesting. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so uh, welcome back to the Drifts and Lifts Evic Volvo Drift YouTube channel. Tons of gravy today, I'll tell you that. Uh, so yeah, we're at Mission Speedway here. Uh, we're having a drift event. So it's the first drift event of the season. I'm really excited because I got Ted out. Uh, you guys saw in the last video, I did a bunch of work to this. It's got BC Racing coilovers, knuckles. Uh, I put an A-cam in it as well as uh, manual boost controller. It's running about 13 pounds. We stripped some interior out. It's got a welded diff. Um, still has the automatic transmission. Got my Momo steering wheel and uh, should be pretty good to go for today. Um, so, you know, as long as it doesn't break down, I think we're gonna have a pretty fun day of drifting in this thing. Um, we also got some more Volvo friends kicking around. So we got my good friend Josh here and he has a 16 valve missile car. You guys have actually seen this car before. Um, it's gone through, you know, a lot of things um, and it's looking a little more haggard than it has in, in previous years, but uh, it's still a good drift car and it's ready to, you know, get some seat time going. Um, so yeah, this thing's really cool. It's just a, basically a stock 16 valve motor. Uh, it's got coilovers, knuckles, um, basically the, the usual setup that all of us run. Uh, it's actually manual swapped with an M46. Um, so yeah, definitely kind of a, you know, a cool drift car for sure. We also got Jake over here. Uh, he has his BMW powered vol or uh, 740 sitting over there. Uh, so we're gonna do a lot of tandems with him out on the track. And that's gonna be fun and uh, yeah, overall it's just gonna be a really good day of uh, Volvo drifting. So I hope you guys like the video. I think there's something wrong with your bumper. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are new to the channel, uh, this is Jake's car. It's a BMW M52 powered Volvo um, 740. It's pretty sweet. It's got all the typical mods, uh, you know, modified. It's just typical. What's up? Just typical stuff. Yeah, you know, well, like as far as suspension goes, BC Racing coilovers, extended lower control arms and knuckles. Um, uh, in the rear uh, coilovers and do you run a sway bar on this thing Jake? Uh, yeah, just turbo factor. Yeah, you do? Okay. Um, yeah, but this motor jams really good and uh, you know the BMW transmissions are a lot better than the Volvo transmissions So it's basically got everything you need to uh, have a lot of seat time and have a lot of fun in. He's just actually changing a power steering pump on this thing right now um, It's giving him some issues. So yeah, hopefully we get some good tandems in today. So the first run was a little little shaky. Um, uh, we were actually hitting fuel cut. Uh, so I turned the boost down, I gave it a couple clicks and uh, should be good now. I also noticed that these uh, manifold bolts were all, all of them are a little bit loose. So I'm gonna be tightening those up. Um, yeah, that you know what, I was almost hearing a little bit of a tick and I'm willing to bet that those things, uh, maybe the exhaust gasket was uh, coming out a little bit.
right guys, so it's been a pretty fun day so far. Um, the wagon's actually doing quite well. It, uh, the automatic transmission is obviously a limitation, um, but it, you know, it's, it's still drifting like I want it to, and as long as I can get it into first gear in the right spots on the track, uh, it actually does pretty good. And you guys will notice that it's just smacking limiter, and it sounds so funny. Uh, so we got my buddy in his BMW. He's actually a pretty good driver. Um, we're gonna stick the GoPro on his car and we're gonna follow the wagon. So uh, it seems like I was getting a little bit of heat soak and it was causing the motor to just not quite be as powerful. Um, but you know, it makes enough power to drift and uh, once we get a manual transmission in it, I think it'll be a pretty good, just really, really cheap grassroots drift car. Um, more than cheap, it's actually free, so. This is just the do it all wagon. We got we got four people in the car and we're pulling these kind of tandems with an automatic transmission. So um all right guys, we're gonna do some more stacking, some more car stacking. I'm gonna put in the GoPro on uh, Justin's car and we'll get a nice triple stack, triple stack burger shack.
guys, so that is a wrap up of the day. Um, I'm really stoked on my on my good old wagon here, Ted. It was leaking some really bad oil. Um, I shouldn't say that to my Mr. Justin here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was leaking out. I'm not too sure where it was losing oil pretty quickly, but uh, it, it held together. It still makes full power. Nothing's wrong with the car. We didn't damage it in any sort of way. We got some taps on the door marks from Jake running my door the whole day. Um, but overall, super fun time. Uh, so I'm excited to keep on kind of, you know, doing small mods this car. We'll do a manual transmission swap, um, you know, more maintenance stuff. It needs new engine mounts and little things like that. I'll put the BC Racing coilovers in the back. And, uh, yeah, then it'll just be a seat time machine that I'll basically milk the living shit out of, um, of you know, gravy Volvo drift. So uh, I'll leave you there, guys. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel, and uh, there will be lots more Volvo gravy coming at your face soon. So like and subscribe for Volvo Pancake Nips. Peace out.